All right, guys, I'm Spudgun, and welcome back to some more Terraformer Craft. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be working on the pirate ship. I've made a start, um, but it's not anywhere near finished. I'm going to try and do some more, get try and get the basic shape and do some little details and stuff, add some rooms, and hopefully we can, uh, we can get close to finishing it in this episode. Also, got some baby sheep. I... They all don't really have anywhere to put these guys. Uh, there's one kind of sitting outside. We might have to push him back in. Otherwise, when he grows up, he'll just wander off and get lost. So let's push him back in. Don't you come out as well. Did he, did he go in? Okay. That was easy. A lot easier than I thought. Okay, so. The pirate ship. I think... Actually, I think I want to get some pine logs as well. Um, I want to build the majority of it out of... Uh, blah, 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 hickory. That's why we went and got loads and loads of hickory. Because it looks good being like a dark, dark coloured wood. But I think it it's going to need like some variation in wood types. Otherwise, it will look really, really boring. No matter how much detail you put into it, it's going to look weird. Just all being the same type of wood. So we're going to get some pine as well. And we'll do, like, the main floor of the deck. Maybe we'll do that pine. We can check it out, see what things look like. Uh, also, we're going to need to uh, think about loads of details, like masts and sails. Uh, somebody did mention doing a sail out of balloons, which is quite a good idea. But I think the amount of balloons, that, uh, well, the amount of blocks that I'm going to use for this ship... I will probably need about a thousand balloons to make it fly, so I don't think we're going to do that. Um, I might use alabaster instead, and um, what's it called? Slab it. Pardon me. Slab it down so that it's just like um, like really thin. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Cool. I hear a skeleton somewhere. Probably a cave below me. Okay, so this is. What I've got so far, I've got the main thing coming up and started to get the main shape of it. Also changed up the deck a bit, put some, the deck, the dock, put some, what's it called, clay bricks and changed the hickory that I put down for stone. I don't know if that was in an episode or not. Uh, the hickory stuff. I don't have torches. This is not good. This is really not good. I don't, I need torches. Okay, we're going to put a little fire down here. Get a few torches. I'm not going to have a lot, though. And then I'll take shaders off so that people can actually see. Um, cool. So. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't stand on fire pits. They will set you on fire. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and... Do as much as possible in this episode. I might have to do a bunch of cuts and stuff just so we keep it interesting, keep it entertaining. I'm going to need a log. Screw the log, actually. We'll just we'll just multiply them. Oh, we have a friend in our ship. That's, that's great. Cool, let's put some of these around just so we've got some light on the situation. So, this is the basic shape. I think I might have to add some chiseled bits just to round these edges off a bit. And I might have to do something to these sides. Uh, somebody said that the reason everything got messed up on this ship is because... the Oh, hello. You want to play? Uh, the orientation of when I built it, it was facing the way I'm facing now, so it's east, and when I stopped it here, it was facing south, so if we don't, if we don't want that to happen to this, if we want to use loads of chisel blocks, we're going to have to, every time we dismount the ship, we're going to have to park it facing exactly the same way as we built it, so facing south, which is not ideal, but it's, it's doable, it's totally... Like, it would be a pain in the bum if it was, like, it would never go back to the same, like, it would always do this. But as long as we keep it facing south when we dismount, then it should be fine. 
we should be able to put in as many chisel blocks as we want. Which is kind of a relief. Kind of annoying, but kind of a relief, because I thought we were not going to be able to use any, but it seems that's not the case. Um, I'm definitely going to run out of hickory soon, so we're going to try and do as much as possible. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with the back. I think, just, I'll show you what I've got. It's kind of like a, same as the front, like a rudder sort of thing, and then it comes out and up. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. But it's not going to arc out as much as the front, because that's supposed to be more rounded, the back's supposed to be more square. Uh, might still have to chisel these bits. So yeah, that's what we got so far. I'm going to build it up a little bit more. In fact, let's... Have I got my chisel? I do, thank God. So these bits here... It looks okay like that. But I want to check if I, if I change that a little bit and chisel them. If that looks better... I think it does, it's like a variation in the size of the blocks, it should look better. So that was three on each side. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. And we'll do another one there. Just to make it look a bit more rounded. One, two, three. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to continue building this up. I think the main thing when I started this was just getting this shape of the front to look right and then just build up from there. It's kind of just the way I was doing things. I've never built anything like this before, so it's kind of a, a strange thing. Yeah, that totally crafted it. It's kind of strange to be building a massive pirate ship for the first time when you've never even built a small one. I say massive, it's not massive. Like, I could definitely build something a lot bigger in vanilla, but this ain't vanilla. This is a lot more difficult to build stuff. So I'm basically just following the shape that I've got and just moving it out of one block to make it a bit wider. And then any blocks I don't really need, like this one I'm taking back. This looks kind of stupid. Hmm. It looks like it kind of goes out a bit too much. Hmm. Let's try this. One, two, three. One, two, three. That looks better. That definitely looks better. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing my thing, and we'll be back once I've made some progress. Okay, I think I'm about to run out of wood, <laughs> so... I'm going to have to do the progress report now. Um, I think we'll have it like that, maybe. Hmm, that's going to look a little bit weird. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do something else. I want to kind of have, like, a, usually pirate ships will have, like, a kind of statue at the front. Usually, like, a woman or a mermaid or something like that at the front um, to guide their ship or something like that. You've seen it in, like, uh, what's that film called with Johnny Depp? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, that's the one. Um, <clears throat> that's the sort of thing they have in that. So I'm not sure if we're going to do that if we just have a blank thing. Uh, but I think this is as big as we're going to go. And then we'll have a hickory rim. So that's kind of the frame of the ship will be the logs. And yeah, you get the idea. 
But I've run out of hickory. Completely gone. Run out of pine as well. Started the floor. So this... This will be like the main deck. We'll have the pine and a hickory outline. I think that might look pretty cool. Uh, might change... Uh, once I get some more pine, I'll probably play around with different floor designs using these these parquets and these different types of wood planks just to get um, get a bit of variation, make it look a little different. I want to do something with this because I don't like having just a one block hole. I hate these blocks. Well, I don't really like the color of these, but we're going to have to deal with it because... I don't have any more logs to fill that in, so we'll just leave that as it is for now. I could use these, but I don't think I've got enough. Or, no, I don't want to use stone, just wood. Just wood, and then it will definitely float. If we put uh, if we put stone in, then we're going to need to use um, floaters and stuff like that, which would cost a lot a lot of burlap which is a lot of jute fibers let's uh, floater floater log and burlap one burlap is 12 jute fiber one jute plant is like two fiber so that's six plants for every piece of burlap and six times is that nine no one two three four five six seven eight Six times eight. I don't know. Sixty. Uh, yeah. Like 48. 48 plants. Not cool. I don't even know what I just did with my maths. Probably not correct. Probably nowhere near correct. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's what we got for now. Um, I'm going to work on getting some more wood. I basically just have to wait for trees to grow, which is annoying, but we don't have a choice. Did I just put that out, really? Cool, and it's raining. Great. Uh, we also need to do something with the back here. But I think it doesn't actually look that bad. Um, could do with something along the top here, but I didn't really want to go another block out because I don't have a lot. Um, what we might do is just pull these in a little bit. Just to round it. Oh, no, can't do that. Okay, I'm going to have to replace that block. We'll just do it on the top ones then. Just to round it off a little bit. Uh, might turn these ones into stairs. I'm not really sure yet. We'll work on the detail some other time. When we've actually got enough wood to finish the main shape, uh, then we can work on details and stuff. Let me get some food up in me. But I think it's not too bad. It's going to be huge. In fact, I actually, uh, one wolf mentioned that I need to, well, might need to go and change the maximum amount of blocks able to be used for a boat to float. So I went into the configs for Archimedes ships and I changed that. It was at like 2000. Hey, thanks. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it was at like 2000 something. I changed it to 4000 something. So we should easily be able to we should be able to use as many blocks as we want really this is not going to go over 4,000 blocks definitely not oh we got a hat I already have a hat oh. also we really need to make some more metals and get some armor going that would help a lot so yeah it's it's not looking too bad It'll definitely look better once we've got the this hickory outline and the, the floor in place. Then we can start thinking about rooms and where we will, you know, what we're going to do with each room, like a storage room, a room for transporting animals, like fill it with crates, a room for just like food supplies and water supplies. That would be cool. 
Uh, in fact, I should probably set up some barrels just to collect water for the journeys. So let's do that. Three barrels should be enough. If not, we just make some more. Uh, can't get up there. And I'll put these down by the ship so it's not... So it's easy just to put them back on. We don't have to go back and forth with full barrels. We'll just put them right here. And they'll fill up with water. Cool. So I'm going to think of something else to do. Uh, we need to... What's the date, actually? Summer. So we don't really need to harvest our crops yet. We've got time. Uh, I need to do some housework and stuff like that. And, oh, actually, we can make rope now. Not sure if we really need it. Now that we've got animal crates, we don't really need rope that badly. But it would be handy just to move animals from paddock or pen to pen. Any of these olives? I don't think I've got any olive trees. That would be nice. We could make uh, make a hopper to make yeah olive oil. Is it olive oil? Yeah, it is. And then you can make TFC lanterns instead of the add-on ones. I don't think any of my hickory trees have grown. In fact, I'm sure none of them have grown. None of the pines. Oh, actually. No, that's spruce. Okay, cool. So I'm going to work on something else to do, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, guys. So, I have realized what I need the rope for. I made myself some more alabaster, and we're going to finish off... The, uh, the landing pad. I originally wanted it to be like a square one, but I think now... No, I wanted it to be a circle one. I think now a square would actually be better and easier to work with. Um, because I want to turn this into a helipad. We're basically going to paint it and paint a H on it. So that it looks like a helipad. I think that's a pretty cool idea. So we got one, two, three, four, five that side. And just do this side. Hmm. I'm going to have to go out one more this way. And I would like to go out another, but we don't have enough. So, so that will have to do. In fact, we could just break this down and add it on to the end, but I know I probably won't get these blocks back. Nope. We can just go down and collect them. Uh, so, I got myself some grey dye. I've had that sitting around waiting for ages for us to get some rope so that we can actually make a paintbrush and paint these alabaster blocks. So, now we got it. We can make a paintbrush and I also want to make some yellow dye. Uh, let's just get this added on to the end there. And I'm going to run down and grab those blocks before they disappear. Okay, I definitely need to add a quick way of getting up and down from, from up here. Because that took way longer than I thought it would. Just to go down and get five blocks. But it should be worth it. We should have enough. Okay, we're one block short. Great. Anyway, let's make ourselves a paintbrush. In fact, I'm going to make two, because we're going to have two colors. I don't have sticks, really. I don't have sticks. How stupid is that? I know I've got sticks up in the blacksmith. So here we've got the gray. Here we've got the fresh water barrel. I'm going to put, I think you need 25, um, Basically, I ground up some limonite ore in the kern, and if you put it in your crafting grid, that turns it into yellow dye. And you can use that. No, you can't. Oh, that's sealed. That'll be why. There you go. Yellow dye 25 exactly turns a full barrel of water into dye, and we can use our paintbrush to, to paint the alabaster blocks. 
I need to go and grab some sticks and we can make a paintbrush. How is my diet doing actually? Grain and dairy is severely lacking. Well, I've got tons of grain, so I can just eat this. Cool, and sticks, really. Really? I thought I had sticks in here. Apparently not. Fresh water, fresh water. Leather stuff. Any sticks? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going back down there. It's just annoying. Have I got sticks? I don't have any freaking sticks. Okay. And I don't have a scythe. Okay, this is great. Do I have a scythe on me? I do. Okay, cool. Let's just go and grab some quickly. I need to change this as well. I don't mind it, but I'd like to have something a bit, a bit cooler, a bit fancier. Okay. So paintbrush, you need wool. Ugh, you need rope first. Look. Let's make the rope. Two ropes. And I've got ten left over. You put those on there, rope there, and sticks on the bottom. Nope. And that gets you a paintbrush. I've got two because I've got two colors. And basically each time you dip your paintbrush in the barrel, uh, it's going to take one bucket's worth of paint. And you will get five blocks usage out of it. I think it's five, maybe more. No, I think it's five. Uh, let's test it now. So I'm going to paint the whole thing gray. So dip it in there, gray dye. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you get five uses out of it. Uh, basically, I'm going to paint the whole thing gray and then I'm going to do a yellow H on it for a helipad. And this will be what we use to land our thing, our Archimedes ship's thing. In fact, let me do the H first, that might be better. So we got this, if I do it, like here and here, one, two, three, one, two, that's, mm. I think I miscalculated on how even this thing was. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter, we'll just put the H in and we can add more alabaster later. Yeah, this should look alright. If not, it doesn't matter, like if you paint if you paint a block one colour, you can always paint over it with a different colour if you want to change it. Uh, if you want it to go back to white, then obviously you just use white paint. So we have one, two, three, middle, one, two, three, perfect. So this will be our middle. And this is why I made two paintbrushes, because I knew this was going to happen. We're going to have a few bits of yellow left over. So I'll switch to the, the uh, unused paintbrush. Cool, and this is what it's going to look like, just grey and... Grey and yellow, we might actually have to make some more grey dye, because there's not a lot, and we have a lot of blocks of paint. And I think you can get almost any colour. Let's search up the dyes. Uh, now, it needs to, you see these ones, these are vanilla. They don't have a light and tiny, they don't have a weight and size factor. If it has light and tiny, that means it's terraformacraft dye, and it is usable, whether it's makeable is another thing. Uh, this brown stuff never used to be it. I don't think you used to be able to make it, but now... Actually, yeah, hematite powder and charcoal, that... Or limonite and charcoal, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, you can make orange, magenta... Cool, so most of them are actually makeable. Uh, the grey one is this, and you need ink sacs, flux, and sand. It's quite expensive, but ink sacs are probably the easiest thing to get, and most of the others use some type of ore, so it's 
pretty much inexpensive. It's really cheap to do. Because uh, ink sacs are everywhere. You just go killing squid. Obviously. So I'm going to finish uh, painting this. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, almost there. Two blocks left. I had to go and get myself another barrel full of grey dye. Which, uh, yeah, because it took up a lot of resources. But we're done. Um, I do want to add another line of alabaster to this side so it's completely even. But I think it looks cool. Also changed this to have blocks, uh, bricks, just because it looks a lot better. Cool, let's eat something. Fruit. I think that's going to look really cool. Um, we can actually... I've got my helicopter on me, so we can... I say helicopter. Not really a helicopter, but we can... Uh, we can go up and see what it looks like. Let's get rid of that first. Uh, three. Three. Three and our front block for the helm. Nope, fail. Okay, symbol, mount. You can even see it on the mini map, which looks really cool. So basically, we'll know where we have to land because we just fly up. And we've got a little helipad. It would look cooler if it was a brighter colour. But I think... You know, it's it's pretty hard to miss. The big yellow H. You can even see it on the minimap. So that's a... It's a bonus. That'd be really easy to find, to land when we come in. I wanted to move it up to this bit. But it's going to be a while before I move my blacksmith area. So we'll just leave it here for now. If you... Like if you painted a block and you break it... It will always stay this colour, so you, if I pick these up, it will be yellow alabaster or grey alabaster. So don't worry about that, you can always break break down and rebuild. Uh, cool. So that's that done. We need to check if there's any more trees so we can finish building our pirate ship. I don't think there's going to be, uh, but we can check. And also, aha, we can, can make some ropes and train a horse, actually. I need to get my saddle. Sweet. And just make some space, just put that on. Uh, in the next episode, I want to either finish the, the ship or make some iron... I really need to make some pistons and do the kill room for the cows. That would be nice. Uh, I'm really, really bad when it comes to pistons and redstone and stuff. Also, I need to find some redstone for that. Um, cryolite? No. Yeah, I think cryolite is the um, is redstone, basically. Uh, who's got familiarity? You all have it, right? Oh, you. yeah, you do. Cool. Which one should we train first? I'm thinking the Grey Twins. So basically you need to have a rope on them to ride them. You have to click them with a rope and then click them again. When they actually decide to let you, I'm clicking it. And eventually, like, you'll know when it's tamed because you'll be able to, when you press E, you'll be able to access the inventory of the horse and actually put a saddle on it. This one's really stubborn. I think you can also give them sugar. I don't know. You might be able to give them sugar to speed up this taming process. I'm not entirely sure. I've never tried that. I think that's a vanilla mechanic as well. Will you please just let me ride you? Still not tamed. 
I think you should get hearts as well, like when you breed them. You're really annoying. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. We have hearts. Okay, and now we can access inventory. I don't believe horse armor is a thing in this. Let's check out how this guy is. Is he a jumper? Is he fast? He's pretty fast, actually. He is quick. Okay, what can you jump? That was into the bushes, so I'd say one, two, three, four? Really? No, that can't be right. That looks about four, actually. Um, do we have a wall we can try it on? That was quite a huge jump. Okay, I think it might be three or four. Jumping wise. That's pretty good. Uh, this is three, so we can check. Definitely three. Possibly four. That's good. And his health... I think all horses have the same health. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, to get the rope off, you usually have to shift click like right here. Right in his uh, in his nipples, and that should <laughs> that should get the rope off. Cool. Let's try the other one. Yes, we've got hearts. Uh, sometimes these can be really glitchy. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, like you, you jump on a horse, like I'll, I'll sit on this one, I'll put the saddle on it and then all of a sudden the saddle is on this horse that you're not even sitting on. That can happen sometimes. Okay, this one is definitely not a jumper. Let's check. Yeah, that's, that's a lot less than the other guy. It's not really bad though. Speed, quite slow. Definitely noticeably slower than the last one. You can't even jump three. Okay. So she's probably like two and a half. This other guy's got to be at least three. Well, he's definitely three. Maybe three and a half. Maybe four. So he's, he's my favorite at the moment. Can I get that saddle back? Thank you. Let's try this one. So at the moment, this the male, the only male we have is my favourite. And also, I forgot we we need to breed these as well. I think I ran out of grain, and I couldn't breed them. Uh, also, ropes really glitchy with horses. It looks like it's doing strange things. Come on. Okay, we got it. This one's tamed as well. Let's, let's check it out. It's not really slow. It's not fast, but it's not really slow. Jumps, not amazing. I think the other one, the male one, is definitely the best we've got. No, can't even do three. That's probably two and a half as well. So those two, <clears throat> the two females are about the same. The male is definitely the best. Cool, so I need to make a some stables and stuff for these guys. And in fact, we need to breed them. So let's do that right now. Okay, it should be... That's the male. Okay, that one's pregnant. Male and female. Female pregnant. Cool. So I don't think any of the trees have grown yet. We still need, still need more, more hickory. Still need more pine. So I think we'll get to that in the next episode. In between episodes, I'm probably going to try and make some iron so that we can start doing stuff with pistons, make the kill room, and stuff like that. We also need to make armor and tools. I definitely need some iron tools. Gonna need a saw soon, a new chisel, a uh, new mace, 
might actually make a Warhammer instead. Um, try that out. Awesome, but that is all we got time for in this episode. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any tips, questions or anything, just leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for watching, as always guys, and I will see you in the next one.